It's important to remember that marriage is so much more than today, more than any one single event or promise. The real act of marriage is lived every day, over and over, in our devotion in the little things that we do for one another. Andrew and Joy strive for a marriage that is equal, full of kindness, laughter, and above all, love. Like the starlight with no beginning or end. Joy, I stand here before you as the luckiest man in the world to have found you, fallen in love with you, and now to be marrying you. I love that you always make me smile, sometimes when you're not smiling, and often when you're sleeping in. I love that in your waking hours, you're always thinking about a million things, mostly about which new restaurant to try next. I love how beautiful you look every time I see you. I love that coming home to you is easily the best part of my day. I love that we've achieved so much together already, even with a few little stumbles and bumps along the way, literally. I love how you're a bit of a know-it-all, and you know that too. Oh, there's a Andrew, I stand before you today knowing that there are few certainties in life and I am grateful that your love is one certainty which I can rely on. I love you for your kindness, generosity and for always trying to make me smile and laugh and not being afraid to make a fool of yourself. I love your optimism even when you fall and that you're rarely angry and if you are, it's most likely because you're hangry or haven't eaten any meat in the last 24 hours. I promise I will never become vegetarian. I love that we are both family oriented, helping our families out way more than our younger siblings. Thank you for killing all spiders and insects in the house and in the car. Thank you for letting me eat the last piece of kingfish ceviche when we go out and eat. I vow to continue to support your sweet tooth, which didn't exist when we first met. These days, you consistently crave something sweet after dinner. Thank you for also being an organiser. Thank you for your patience when I wake up late and for not being too frustrated when it means we're behind schedule for everything you've planned. Joy, you have made me truly appreciate love and life in a way that no one else has ever done. I promise to always be by your side, to support you and to encourage you through life's ups and downs. I promise to keep letting you be a passenger princess on our road trips. I promise to read all your Facebook messages at the end of my workday and will try my best to respond to all of them. I promise that our lives will be filled with amazing experiences, delicious food and even better memories. I promise to start a happy and loving family with you. Joy, you're my endless love, you're forever my bundle of joy and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. I promise to try to be more on time. I promise to grow with you, to continue to experience new things together, travel together and eat good food together. I promise to challenge you and inspire you, including to follow a recipe precisely and not just as a guideline. I promise that I will try to eat some of your new food creations without hesitation. I promise to support you no matter where the blues sit on the ladder and to cheer you up when, not if, the blues lose. I promise to always respect you, to care for you, to get through any hard times together and to pick ourselves back up when we fall, hopefully metaphorically. I can't wait to start a life together. I promise to stand beside you and love you for all the days of my life. Marriage to Andrew and Joy is about formalising and acknowledging the important bonds that they already share and intend to share for the rest of their lives. It means being with that one person who's always got your back, someone that is loyal and loves you through your good days, but especially your bad. 
someone who embraces all of your quirks and imperfections and loves you more because of them. Someone who makes your life more exciting, fun and joyful and someone who pushes you outside your comfort zone because they know you have what it takes.